Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice hearty and warming bovril. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we were once again expanding and improving the facility and I've just realised a couple of things. Uh, it's still ridiculous that we have those K9 units like that <laughs> but also quite fun too and I thought there was a prisoner with a uh, randomly uh, coloured uniform here but no it's just one of the visitors who have uh, the same you know, the same uniform just a slightly different alteration in colour. Anyway I digress. So yes we expanded in the previous episode and managed to get yeah, we're up to 25 total capacity going up to 26 very shortly once this door is inserted that's uh, a total of 26 but obviously 10 of those are parental capacity and we also haven't finished the nursery but we don't actually need it at this stage so really in this episode it's mainly focused on one thing and that's operation expand capacity we would need to expand the land and also build a lot more of these cells now these are not these cell blocks should i say these are not very expensive if i go to quick build and cloning and select all that I believe they're about three grand or just under um yeah assuming for well not accounting for a couple of extras they are 2940 generic units of currency so not massively uh, problematic when it comes to money however well we only have 11 grand and we're losing half a grand per day we could alter that we could uh, get rid of some get rid of some staff and maybe alter some of like give, give, give them a pay cut and stuff like that but no i think the best thing to do is take out a loan expand the land and get over 100 capacity i think that is yeah probably a sensible decision either way that's what we're going to do regardless whether it's sensible or not so over to our grants and increase the bank loan to a 50 grand we can go up to 2500 generic units of currency and the original plan was to expand to the south here and do cloning from this one but instead i'm going to go to the left here to the west for a couple of reasons um i'll cover those uh, later on but basically yeah i think this is the best course of action because we've already got the these rows in place all I need to do is expand the fence and then select that and go clone 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 and yeah we can get hopefully at least six in there but let's just see how we get on over to our um, planning and walls and obviously the wall situation is such that if we wanted to we could go for a double skinned wall on this left hand side and what I mean by that is we've double skimmed or uh, double skinned already but the big difference is the contraband can still be thrown in and we could go for a bit of a gap like that but I'm gonna hold off for now because I really want to just increase capacity I can always expand again to to do that if needs be but we'll see how it goes anyway that is the plans for the uh, walls so let's just go ahead and get these walls put in it's going to be a simple matter of building the walls along there and then along here and obviously then doing some alterations to these ones to then you know basically delete them also it means because of the way this works out we can keep expanding this way and build some other stuff in there so for example we can get a gym in there we can get another common room we could get uh, a library if need be things like that so that gives us all of those options in terms of food we're still totally fine um we've got really good capacity here and obviously we can double it going there as well so that is that's perfectly acceptable anyway the workers are cracking on to build all of these once they have got a lot of that done in fact what i'm going to do could have got doors and uh, walls and put the wall in there and wall in there because obviously we do need to then remove all of this and alter it up and such so that's fine and then we'll do some rough measurements and figure out where these things are going to go obviously we also have as well some nice things to sell so down here and sell object and get rid of oh you can't actually do it that way dismantle and i'll dismantle all of the lovely trees and uh yeah get some money we could make some extra money if we add a death row into the prison uh no thank you that's not what we're focusing on I know there was some uh, discussion over that as well about the the whole message about that popping up saying hey get money by death row which is a little bit crass but uh yeah fair enough um how we're we doing over here are uh, they're cracking on and looks like some people are going to get stuck so i want to go to our uh probably dismantle object no i can't dismantle i'm gonna have to just demolish walls and then basically demolish all of the walls along here so the walls will be demolished to there demolished to here um is that in the right area? I don't know whether or not that wall 
is in the right area but I'm just going to remove that and then remove these bits and then obviously this side as well and that should still be one big area now let's just go ahead to our deployment and to staff only and that still says there is no access to it but eventually there will be I'm just waiting for just waiting for that to uh, be removed here this wall and there we go and now I can set that to staff only which is good and then they're just uh, waiting to Remove the rest of the wall, which is which is fine. We are losing uh, strangely 2,601 generic units of currency now. Why why are we losing that amount? That is very strange indeed. Maybe because of the sheer amount of building work we've just uh, done. But well, there you go. Anyway, um, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and wait for all of these yeah all of these logs and stuff to be shifted as well as the garbage and that and we're going to see how many of these we can get in so over to planning and to walls we can see that the size of this is a 13 by 18 so if it was to go just there we're going to go uh, 13 by 18 gap of 2 13 by 18 gap of 2 13 by 18 and then we've got this little bit here which to be honest it means we could have probably built that wall across there and uh, if it was to go across what would the distance be seven i need 10 in total so that wouldn't work so we're going to have this little section here which really doesn't have much of a purpose um what we could do is build something like that and have solitary in here but as people have rightly pointed out because of the type of prisoners that we have we don't actually need solitary we don't really need it um another thing we could have probably done and i'm just going to measure it to see what happens is put these like there and 13 13 13 still a gap another option is to put them back to back so it would be 13 along to there so this would be uh, a door here and then like door here so they're back to back and then do a similar thing here is that the right size 25 um it's still not going to fit in it's regardless of what we do it's not going to fit in it's not going to work as a plan so yeah it's a shame so it's going to be something like that and something like that and then that and obviously this is going to be copied on the top as well so let's go up here and each one of these is going to increase the capacity by a very reasonable amount i think it's only eight each one but obviously with all of these getting put in it should be pretty good and then obviously in the center here we can build um whatever this happens to become i'm most likely going to build up to there and stop and have one as a gym and one as whatever the other one happens to be um can we then fit i don't think we can because it's 18 uh 13 by 18 would bring us to there i mean there's no reason we can't just build a bigger cell block like that and have them uh, have it slightly different but that's the rough plan uh, we've got a rough plan for now this stuff at the back i'm not really a big fan of but there's not much i can really do about it uh quick build and well one two and we'll let them crack on not gonna spend uh really any more money other than buying some more workers even though i did sack lords in a previous episode which was very short-sighted of me but there you go and yeah let's see what happens as they build this that's going to get our capacity to a semi-reasonable amount and speaking of capacity what sort of prisoners do we want well here's the thing when you get prisoners in the game you can choose on the intake the type of prisoners that they are so in terms of their minimum medium maximum security you've also got supermax and legendary prisoner which we could bring in if we wanted to but it even cl clearly states there fill to 16 family cells not counted so the type of prisoners that we get we don't know whether they're going to have uh children with them so if they have children then obviously they have to go in here children can't look after themselves in the, this facility you understand so the best course of action is to increase it to uh max on the minimum sec because min sec prisoners have a higher chance of coming with offspring so that's what we're going to do here that's what's going to happen and hopefully that will uh make it so that these nurseries start getting filled which means again more capacity and things like that good right so these are getting built obviously we need all the plumbing all of the water power whatever we need to put all that in but i'm going to wait for the cells to be completed before i focus too much on that we can see that over on the right we have loads of stuff getting delivered and dropped off and such so there's a lot of things going on there in terms of our grading we currently have three prisoners that have been released it is sleep time and i am gonna go for tunnel search all sectors i don't want to search the 
I don't want to search the cells per se because I don't. I don't really high levels of contraband. There's always going to be high levels of contraband in this prison. I know there's some discussion regarding the lack of the lack of metal detectors in the cells uh, cell blocks, and people really want that added. Uh, I agree. I think we should probably do that, but it's it's a it's sort of a time is money thing, and I really want to get the capacity uh, increased. And also, if I have two metal detectors on each one of these it's a huge huge drain on the on the power station and with the rest of this connection it's probably going to be a little bit too much for it which means another power station which means more logistical nightmares so we'll see we'll see realistically it's just not going to happen uh this cell door i will lock open similar to on this one here as well so hang on i can't actually click it because it's <laughs> off the screen and lock open that one so they can crack on and build that we have some intake and some low risk prisoners and and there we go we have this who is this this is isabel knight prisoner number 3370 sorry 337 sentenced to eight years for fraud it says one stint in here and it doesn't state anywhere there but they do have a kid with them so we have to does it say anywhere here family son age three i'm guessing that's the little one there so we have to fix this uh, nursery stuff then. Okay, so let's focus on that and <laughs> that chill door. I don't really want to lock it open, um, but I might just, just let those guys out. So the nursery, we need serving tables, uh, tables, benches, cribs, and play mats. So let's go ahead and go to objects and scroll right in. It says it requires a serving table, so let's get a swerving table in. So I'll rotate that round. Sadly, it's not going to go uh, where I'd like it. Um, we just have to have one serving table, so that's going to go in say there and then we also need tables benches cribs play mats and that sort of thing uh, actually i will put that further up i think i'm going to place it there and let's put in the benches and stuff we can put small benches in if we really wanted to i don't think it's unreasonable to put a couple of those in we need uh, cribs as well so and play mats so if i put say benches like that and benches like this and then between that we got table small one two three so that's um one two, that's four eight twelve that's more than is required in here but that's fine uh, we also need um cribs and i'm guessing we need the total cribs equal to the amount of mm, it actually doesn't say do we need total cribs equal to the amount of prisoners in here i don't know but we're gonna have some uh where is it it'll be down there there's the play mats However, I can't find cribs. There's the cribs there. And the cribs, I'm going to place either side of the benches. Uh, there we are. And then we'll place some playmats in as well. So just basically a big row of playmats there. And let's see let's see if that is sufficient. I'm also going to shift and... Oh, sorry. Control, click all that and prioritise that. No. Isabel Knight is heading out. They are they going for visitation. Okay, yeah, I think there's certain things that they can and can't do. I don't think they can do parole. I don't think they can do work, but I'm not really too sure about that one. But, um, yeah, obviously I want to focus on this to make sure that is that is all sorted. And obviously we have got all the workers coming in. So they have got, yep, baby and crib. There you go. Family cells. Um, still need to put some flooring in here and whatnot. But it's, again, all about getting the capacity up and getting us off that negative cash flow. Oh, the, neg the negative cash flow will be the loan. Won't it? Yeah, 2500 per day. That's how much it is costing us to keep this loan out. So, raise capacity to 50. We are not there yet and still quite a ways off it. And, oh, there you go. There's uh, Isabel, who's... Uh, the kid was there in the crib. That's getting built now. We can see a couple of a couple of our workers are exhausted. If we just go to needs and then over to staff needs... Yeah, there's a couple of critical rests. Okay, there you go. But, they're cracking on with this fairly well. I haven't got any patrols in here. I should probably sort that out. So over two patrols and then our blue patrol. Blue patrol will s just stroll around there and we'll just assign one guard to it. I'm not going to... There we go. I'm not going to put any dogs in there. I don't think that is uh, really necessary at this stage. But we'll see how we get on. Uh, three minimum security will arrive tomorrow. Obviously the minimum security does pay you less. I think it's 300 for minimum and 500 for medium uh, intake. It does say uh, payment 1,500. Yeah, I think it's 300 then for that one. So, hmm, interesting. 
and there's oh, <laughs> I can see that that there. That's oh, that's a that's a violent rocking motion for the baby. Um, okay, interesting. Doesn't seem to be complaining, so that should be a okay. And eating some nice crispy bacon there. Mm, the cornerstone of a nutritious breakfast. And here's some more prisoners who, as far as I can tell, do not have uh, any kids with them, but they are also in the shackled up so they might have that they just might not show when they're like they are so we'll see anyway let's just go to a little bit of a faster speed and see if the workers can finish all of this it's difficult to see what is incomplete but certainly power you can see these are all flashing here and they've not got any any water there but we'll see how we get on at least these bridges are working exactly as intended which i'm fairly happy with that that's pretty good indeed our negative has dropped to only 2000 this time that's because obviously we've got some more intake there and as we build as these get completed we're going to get more and more uh, of that as well um i actually don't have any exports i just realized that uh, we are not selling any of the any of the logs that's because we don't have any exports but if i place that then yes the workers immediately start exporting the logs so there you go and that'll give us some nice money as well it's actually a fairly decent money maker you can very easily make all the money you need and very early on as well by just making forestry and just having a huge amount of forestry and doing it that way and ah this is now built we now have someone inside there uh yeah we we might have a problem um let's go ahead and go for the electrical cable that's going to run across and then it'll run down to there yeah that's fine uh, i'm going to do a similar thing i mean you know what i might as well just build down the bottom as well because we know we're going to need that electrical cable uh, obviously the water connections as well pipe connections are uh how have we done them we've gone with a just a straight run from the pipe like so and across and across and like that yeah there you are okay we'll get that done so that just goes across there across there and just connects up all of the pipe work that should be fine so that should be lighting it should be power all of that sort of thing over to deployment and then to our patrols and hmm, blue patrol first which is going to be inside the facility here similar thing this one down south and obviously sign guards one and then two and then i'm going to set up the magenta patrol and alter its alter its uh, patrol at this stage it's only going to go around the new ones like that and remove that one and obviously then assign dog handlers to that but we will have to probably change some of that up as well <coughs> Yeah, most likely we'll have to uh, put in the flooring because you can see they're not walking overly fast and then when they get onto this, then they walk a lot faster. But anyway, that should hopefully be fairly secure now, which is good. We have an additional person past the foundation education course, which is good. And uh, all of this stuff still to fix in the shop. That's interesting. Let me just double check our prison labour. And yes, can confirm I have assigned people to both the jobs for the mail room and for the shop, but currently nobody's on it. Levels of contraband in the prison are out of control. Yes, they are. I am aware, but also don't have any way to fix that at this stage of the game. We're going to get nine security, uh, nine minimum security prisoners shortly, and that's good. What I want to do is go to flooring and then to concrete tiles and spend some money on the concrete tiles that's currently patrolling around the uh, the new cell blocks, so cell blocks B and C. No, we've got A and B, so it's C and D. And then what's that in? Well, it's going to be a clone job again. We may also take out another loan. I think it's reasonable to assume that we're going to have to do that. But like I say, this is something that we did plan from the beginning. I know there's a couple of people saying that weren't sure about how we're doing this and getting the size of facility that we are with the fewer prisoners. It's because we're trying to play the long game in terms of getting this done and then expand and then making it all fit towards the end rather than having to build it and then knock stuff down and build it and knock stuff down it's just the way we do things um that's all planned so that's fine so it's just quick build and one and then two there we go so there's another two cell blocks i think i think the capacity of 100 was a little bit <laughs> was probably a little bit um yeah ambitious to be honest we have 
uh, Isabel here, who has needs of sleep and exercise and drugs, apparently. Okay. So I want to put in, then, in here, a common room. And in the common room, I'm going to put a couple of things. Uh, primarily some some exercise mats, gym mats and some bookshelves and some weight benches. And where are they going to head off to now? I'm guessing they're going to head to... Hmm. Eat time? Yeah, they're gonna go in here. But they don't eat in here. They're just wandering inside. Hmm, I guess they could. Anyway, there's the uh, prisoner cash flow. And it's good cash flow. Oh, one, two other prisoners with children. Pierce and Ikers. Okay, fair enough. So, we're on positive daily cash flow. This is good. Um, this is the no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. That's not true, so I don't know why it's saying that, but we'll see how we get on. I'm going to increase the speed a little bit, just so these workers, uh, <laughs> well, I was going to say speed up, but no, not really. But they're going to get that built sooner rather than later. Um, okay, well, again, these areas here, still not too sure what they're going to be. Maybe a gym, maybe a library. But then, on this side... I don't know what the best course of action is. Maybe just another big cell block? It is possible. It is possible. I also want to, sooner rather than later, build some flooring in here, because it just looks horrible. <laughs> um, and also, speaking of horrible, look how filthy this place is. It's absolutely disgusting. Maybe... Maybe... Some kind of... Uh, some kind of some kind of cleaning cupboard is in order. For now, two more janitors, because this place really needs tidying up. But I also do think cleaning cupboard. Cleaning cupboard would be good. Um, if I was to expand this then, and have a cleaning cupboard in it, could we fit it in? Say the top one was a gym, for example. We need a library. Library, we don't need, but 5x5, five five, that is a 5x five something. 6x something. And then that is a cleaning cupboard. That is very possible and very doable. We don't actually need this connection to go at the end, by the way. It's just it's just in. <laughs> it just is what it is. Um, okay. And this walkway will go down here and connect to that. What else don't we have? Well, we don't have solitary. But I don't think we need one with the type of prisoners that we've got here. Dormitories we're not having. Family cells we've got. Workshop we're not having uh, yet. Anyway, cleaning, cupboard. No, forestry definitely not. Gym we're putting in. Uh, library can go in as well. Yeah, that would be reasonable. And pretty much all that's required. Okay. It's strange that the, the family members... Uh, not assigned here. Are they in here? Yes, they are. They're eating in here. Because we're not splitting them up. And that person there... has got a prisoner to sell, but we haven't got... Do we need more guards, of all things? I guess it's possible. Um, I also have run out of cash, so I am going to increase our bank loan again. Because I really do need to get these cells done. I'm going to get... How many have we got free? Two available. No, that's dog. Six available. Normal guards. So we're fine. We're fine, really. It's currently sleep time, and nobody's assigned to that, which is very curious. Hmm. Anyway. Shake down all sectors. Go. Staffing. One, two, three. More guards. Sixteen guards in total. Normal guards, should I say. That excludes dog handlers and armed, which we don't have at this stage. 269 places to search and also I've just realized that I can go ahead and get rid of probably the prison manufacturing facility oh no that's got a, uh, a fine of two grand if I don't do it I want to get the tool clean up and crack down on drugs and also inmate nutritional research but the way to get that is to get the next grant done because if we hand the grant back without doing it we get a fine and we're already <laughs> low enough on money so I think once these are done this will bring us over that 50 grand, which is the cell block 
uh, B, Grant, we're on 94% of that one, and that will be all right. It's said that there was contraband totally out of control. I mean, I guess technically it is. Needles, pair of scissors, six bottles of booze, that could be potentially an issue. Poison, yeah, definitely don't want that in the facility as... Uh, similar thing for the drugs. Lighters and cigs, fair enough. Uh, and then you've got the cell phones, 11 cell phones. Yeah. I guess we, we don't really know what the, what's been discussed there. Um, anyway, what we've got here, we do have some more prisoners. And I'm going to go to informants and see... Uh, we do have extremely quick, volatile, strong, stalker, etc. So we do have some prisoners with uh, some notable traits, but nothing that I'm really concerned with. In terms of needs, we are fulfilling all needs, apart from luxuries and literature, but they, they can't go into critical. Staff needs is a similar thing as well. That's okay. And do we have more? One, two, three. Three family, three family cells. It doesn't tell me. Maximum safe capacity is 10 parental. Yeah. But it doesn't tell me the rest. Uh, that door is now ready to lock open, as is that one. So we all do just that. And there is a 20 grand advance payment. So that is the grant completion for increasing cell capacity to over 50. I can go to grants and go for crack down on drugs, find 10 illegal narcotics. As soon as I unpause this, that will be completed. Job done. Uh, tool cleanup, we need prisoners at least 40. Um, and then inmate nutritional research. I'm going to go to our grants and decrease our bank loan uh, to to actually that. Yeah, I'm going to decrease it to our current uh, 25 grand because we're still getting good money. And when we get more prisoners, that's still going to be a decent daily cash flow, I think. <laughs> I think. Um, this common room I've not yet done anything with. You can see that these uh, these here. Oh, they're doing the foundation education course. I wonder if that's been changed then. Whether you can... The, the family... Uh, the family cells and stuff, they have more access to the facility. Or maybe it's just in previous playthroughs, I've not... I've not bothered with like integration of those and putting like security rooms before them so they can't get past which I know I have done before but maybe it was just that who knows anyway we are building a door control system cause quite frankly it's uh, becoming a problem uh, them having to come through that so yeah uh, looks like over here we are now completed in terms of our power uh, sorry in terms of our cell block but we obviously we do need to connect up power and water so there's the verticals, there's the horizontals, and similar thing over here. Power will go along, power will go up to the top, water will come along, and then water will go double up, and then along, and then along. And there we go. 13 minimum security prisoners will be arriving, and that will allow us to get, hang on, there's uh, 48 at the moment, because our safe capacity is 58, but obviously 10 parental. And it means that I should be able to get now the grant for tool cleanup, which is remove the supply of stolen weapons and stolen tools. So that is another grant that I think we will be able to get. Um, how many do we have? What it's showing here? What it's showing prisoners? It does not. Okay. Bit of a shame. Anyway, over to deployment. Patrols. Blue Patrol. Once again, setting up Blue Patrols. I know there was a lot of requests, and I think rightly so, to get micromanagement and make it so we have... You know what? So I don't have to do this Magenta Patrol a, <laughs> a second and third time. I'm just going to increase it like that. Um, I know we're not searching the sides, but we'll we'll catch the rest of it eventually. Um, yeah, get micromanagement so we can get the staffing so we only have the guards in these cells when they're sleeping and such it's a good idea i've used the system before though and found it to be very very annoying to to utilize so i may go down that i may not we'll see uh one two three four people i'm seeing in here it's work slash free time they don't i don't think they work no 
Why don't they have any needs whatsoever? They don't have any needs. Or misconduct or anything. Look at that, nothing at all. That's so strange. Sense to four years for insider trading. They have a sun age zero. Okay. So in the months old then. And looks like visitation is going down a storm. And ah, oh, they are now working in here as well, which is good. So I want to simply wait for the end of the day. And it would be best then if we do our shakedown tonight. I'm also going to get these put in here. Like that. We are running seriously low on cash. Yes, but we're in positive money. But yeah, if we do a shakedown tonight and get that grant done, should be good. You can see we've got a couple of people overdose there and have to go to the medical center. It's such a common thing now that it's like it's not it's not even like something of note for us. We knew from the get-go when we built this thing that stuff was going to be thrown over the wall. We just didn't have the space to prevent it. But anyway, 285 places to search. Um, this should hopefully remove... Uh, we, well, we've already removed the supply of stolen weapons. That's good. Remove the supply of stolen tools. That'll be a nice tool cleanup. That's 20 grand if we get that done. And that means that I can not only pay off the rest of the loan. No, just off. But pay off the majority of the loan. It also means that... Hang on, there is that done. We can get cell block C and then decrease the loan. Which means we are on 8 grand remaining... And we are now receiving 3,400 generic units of currency. We're still getting uh, low sec prisoners in. Because, again, that's the way to fill up these uh, family cells. And uh, let's see if we've got any more. It's difficult to see, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so the searching is still underway. We're finding pills, needles, booze, poison, whatever. But, yeah, I think we'll leave it there for now. That has been a bit of... Oh. That's concerning. Bailey Pierce, 21, overdosed. Where is the nearest guard? And are they going to pick those up? This patrolling guard shouldn't be going anywhere but here. What's that guy doing? Call away. Looks like Hudson is going to deal with this. Right. That's a problem. I think guard dogs and metal detectors are going in. <clears throat> yep. I think guard dogs and metal detectors. I can't be having 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 those uh, smuggling that sort of stuff in these. Okay, there's some alterations to be done in the family cells, but we'll sort that out next episode. So I didn't get to the capacity that I wanted to in this uh, one, so we're still on 58 capacity, but I'm pretty happy with the progress. And next episode, at least this and this and most likely this in the middle as well, which will give us gym, cleaning cupboard, um, and the... Um, gym cleaning cupboard and the library and then we can also think about a bigger cell block as well so quite a big one maybe even go for a dormitory but I'm still a little I'm fighting against that <laughs> but um, I'm not against however going for um, something that goes in here like that having this as a cell block have a cell block like that and then have like cells go along this side for example um, like that. And I'm not opposed to graded cells either. So we could do graded cells. Have that as a graded cell. And this coming along here. I don't know. Haven't yet decided. That's a futurist problem. Either way, we're going to stop our shakedown because it's pretty much finished. And we will leave it there. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and what is the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.